In this last video in which we look at the volume editor in Grossbeat, we are going to quickly cover some of the features that we looked at in the time editor and how they can be applied to the volume editor as well. First, let's take a look at the two performance parameters, the key hold and the one shot functions. The two parameters work in the same manner as they did in the time editor. The key hold option will play the volume pattern of a slot when its mini note is played as long as the key is held. The second parameter I want to look at, again, is the one shot function. Again, this works in the same manner as it did in the time editor. When the slot is selected, either by a mouse or by a MIDI note, the slot will play through once and then return to the first slot. Now these two parameters are identical between the time and volume editors. However, when put together, they can help create some interesting creations to both the time and volume. Lastly, in this video, I want to talk once again about the snap option in the editors. We first looked at the snap option when working with the time editor, and in most cases, it makes sense to use the snap feature in the time editor, as you want to make sure that the time changes you create are placed perfectly in their terms of timing. However, if you are to use snapping in the volume editor, you may find that where there are several changes to the envelope, the volume changes will sound choppy and not smooth. So now I will turn off the snapping feature and draw in some smoother curves. I should also add that I did draw these curves using the step editor, which makes it far easier to draw such smooth curves. And that brings us to an end of our coverage on both the time and volume editors. In the next video, we're going to look at a few of the tools found within Grossbeat.